Hey there and a warm welcome. As I get this question regularly, I'll do this video now to just show how to mount the Quadlock wireless charger and the Quadlock vibration dampener to the KTM Super Adventure S 2022 model. Details to the vertical part as well as to the Quadlock basic mount can be found in the video description below. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to help. Just put it down in the comments and I will help as good as possible. Let's begin with mounting the wireless charger and the vibration dampener to the vertical bar. First, loosen the four screws attaching the case to the bike. As told before, the link to the vertical bar as well as to the basic bar mount can be found in the description below. After this, it gets a bit tricky. You have to remove the USB port from the case. This can be done by applying medium pressure in both directions from the outside. There is a rubber isolation of the USB port which gives a bit of flexibility and after this you can push it to the inside. Now, first you have to mount the vibration dampener and on top of it you can just put the Quadlock wireless charger. To make it easier, just plug in the USB cable before you mount it. Before you reassemble everything, just plug it together quickly and perform a quick functionality test. Just check if the Quadlock wireless charger's LED is running blue and if it's also charging your phone correctly. And yippee, you can see everything is charging correctly. Now mount the cable correctly. Just think about enough flexibility that you still can move your windshield to the lowest and highest position as well as you have all the angle required to just steer to the left and to the right. Last step, store the USB plug, best case, put around some isolation tape to make it water resistant. On the left side of the case, it's a bit tricky, but you can handle it. And then just check if the case fits in again perfectly. If not, make it fit perfectly, don't forget to tighten the four screws and reassemble the case, perform another functionality test. And yes, if the Quadlock LED is still running blue, everything works perfectly. That's it. 